I have a big day planned today. I was going to do all outside work until hubby told me, uh-uh, Tessie, I got something that you need to help me with. Oh, no. So you're going to go along in the adventure because this is something a little bit out of my comfort zone. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to the scrap yard. Yep, you heard it right. We're going to the scrap yard because when you save money, that's what you do. So what are we going to do? We're going to take something to the scrap yard. Can you believe it? And you're going to go along in the car with me because I've never done this before. Yikes! All right, everybody, as you can see on the mileage of this, it is 289,886. This Chevy vehicle is going to go to the scrapyard. It can't be fixed anymore, and this was the work van. It served its purpose, and now we are going to take it to the scrapyard. The one tire is not very good, so we hope we can make it. So this is how we save money, right? Yep. Van is done. It's going to the scrap yard. We're going to go down to one vehicle. We're going to use the Honda for work and for personal. Uh, the Honda's a uh, good vehicle. has a lot of miles on it, but it's uh, been a good vehicle. So we're going to make it with one vehicle for now. If uh, it doesn't work out, we'll find something cheap. This van here, I had four and a half years I paid $2,000 for it. So uh, we did all right. We'll get a couple hundred dollars at the scrap yard. So uh, we're just going to do it with one vehicle for now. Cold, cold morning, but I'm going to the scrap yard. Woohoo! Something I've never done before. So the van has a tire that is really, really bad on it. We are hoping that we can make it and so this is something new for me so going to the scrap yard we we're promised two hundred dollars for it which is the highest we can find anywhere the van has a lot of issues with it but it's cold but it's gonna be exciting and you're gonna follow along with us because this is part of my life and these are the things that I am doing it's gonna be always something exciting and something different so we are going to be near the thrift store, and I'm hoping I can talk hubby into letting me go to the thrift store today. So this will be fun. So it's going to be a little bit of an outing for us. I don't know what a scrap yard is like. Never been to one. And surely, I've never driven to one. Get that good old seat belt on and get started. So, come along. Let's see where we go. I had my camera off. This was a little, okay. this was a little, little exciting. I kind of got lost. The tire didn't go flat. Oh my, it's something else. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not used to this kind of driving. I'm not used to this. It would have been just as easy to get somebody to come out and tow it for, and give us some money. Here we go, people. I'm going into... I don't know what I'm going into. Where am I going? Salvage yard. Salvage yard. I'm going into a salvage yard. Well, I am not going in there. I'm just going to be parking way over here because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I think getting to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. <laughs> ah, this is so exciting and scary. Burr! 
All right, I'm a little bit flustered. We had to go bypass a cop. I got lost because he was pointing for me to go somewhere and I thought that's where I'm supposed to go. So I was going there and it went into a, what was it? Car lot. Car lot. We made it here. I'm hot. You know how I do. I get hot when I'm nervous. So now we're here and we're waiting because he's going to, I guess, give the title. Then he's got to go in the junkyard and then he's going to meet me here. Now, may I ask you, why were you pointing? That white Honda for sale. Wait, we thought you meant go in there. No, white Honda. You're pointing. I'm like, mom. I'm like, mom. We're supposed to go in there. Listen, we don't know what we're doing in life. We cannot be pointing at stuff. He was pointing for me to look at a car. When you're following somebody and you don't know where you're going, and that person is pointing. I would think that that's where we're supposed to go. Well, we got out of the mess, so whew, I'm done. All right, so now he's gonna drive and I can do what I do best and that's be in the passenger side. I like to be in the passenger side. That way I can tell everybody where to go and what to do and I don't have to be the one that drives. So there we go. Sitting here editing my video and I thought, you know what? Maybe I should explain a little bit what you just seen. A lot of you know about my fear of driving and a lot of you know about my story of having severe anxiety and having severe panic attacks. For many years of my life, I had a lot of panic attacks. And one of the things was, was driving. And so for many years, I didn't drive. I have a license and I can drive, but I don't like driving very much. <laughs> and so, in this video, I made a big deal about it because it's something I'm not used to doing. And so we had a work vehicle. Now my husband has reduced his work to about 80% of what he had. And he is helping my son and showing my son all of the things about the business so my son can eventually take over. Well, the work van needed about $2,000 worth of work on it and really it wasn't worth it. So we decided to scrap it save that two hundred dollars and we decided to just use one vehicle so we have one vehicle to work one vehicle for home and that's how we can save money we reduce the insurance bill we reduce everything and this is how we live our life and so i wanted to share with you you know just another way that we are saving money and it's by getting rid of a vehicle that really wasn't worth fixing so that is my story about my driving and though i can drive i don't like it at all. I don't like driving. And so it was, you know, it gets me a little flustered. If you didn't see the video, I'm going to share with you right above here. This video I did not long ago, and it was the first time in many, many years that I went on a highway to just conquer my fear. And I had you all come along with me. The number one thing with fear in your life is you need to face it, whatever that fear may be, because what happens is if you allow the fear to take over your life, it will. And so I faced my fear in driving on a highway and it was something that was very refreshing to me. I drove in an area that was a little hard for me and I wasn't used to it, but my daughter was with me and it was so much fun. And so how I got lost in the parking lot was my husband was doing a little sightseeing and he saw a really nice vehicle and he was pointing for me to look at it and I'm not interested in vehicles so I had no idea what he was doing and he was trying to get me to look at it not telling me to go in the parking lot well I went in the parking lot it was so congested <laughs> this is how I am this is how I am I am so much like this I'm always like running by the seat of my pants so they say and I'm always just doing things haphazardly and spare the moment and so I was a little flustered with all of that, but it was a fun day. I always have fun no matter what we do in life, and conquering your fears is something that I want to just tell everyone out there. You know, whatever you have a fear of, conquer that fear, and that fear will no longer take hold of your life, whatever it may be. And so I did that, and I am easy with driving now. I don't have a problem with driving like I used to, but it's just something that I don't really care for. Just one minute, please. 
It's time for Fanny's Diary, and we are on November the 29th, 1943, and Fanny writes, I think we can all understand Fanny today. I cut a dress for Marion. I also had a bad tooth pulled, and it sure did hurt. Hmm, how many of us had a tooth pulled? And we sure do know what it feels like. Here's the video of me driving on the highway after so many years. I thought you might like to see it. And here's some other videos I bet a lot of you missed. See you tomorrow.